everyone, it's Megan and I'm back from vacation. I got home on Saturday night, I believe. It seems like so long ago, but my vacation was awesome and I'm so glad that I went. And I thought I would do a what I'm loving right now video. I know that I said that I'm not going to do like monthly favorites, but I do like showing you guys what I love at the moment and I do love a lot of things right now and I'm really impressed with some things that I've gotten in the recent like month or two so I wanted to share that with you guys and I also have a few pieces of clothing including the top that I'm wearing right now that I got from Marshalls because one recently opened by me and I wanted to show you guys those quickly at the end of the video I think so I'm just gonna jump into what I'm loving right now and I hope you guys enjoy so it's probably going to be a little bit out of order, but I'll just show you the first thing. So this is um, a Rimmel London blush, and it's the Lasting Finish blush, blush in 006 Autumn Catwalk, and it's called a Blendable Powder Blush and Highlighter. And it's the blush I'm wearing now. I wear this so often. I am not sure if I've ever talked about this blush, but I got it like a long time ago in one of the CVS like huge sales. So I got this at a really good deal and I know that they still sell this. I saw it at Target. But I love these two colors here. The more peachy one and then this like darker sort of pink. And I use this one, the like highlighter light pink side sometimes, but that side has glitter and these two don't. So I do prefer the ones that don't have glitter, but I just think it's so beautiful and I reach for that so often. Next is my Lancome Star Bronzer Natural Glow in number one Lumiere. This is just a sample size that my aunt gave me and I adore this. Um, I know that I will definitely buy this when this runs out and I I don't want it to run out but I'm excited to buy a full size because I've never owned anything by Lancome so I'm glad that I got to try this and I absolutely love it. Next is a perfume and it's the Vince Camuto perfume. This scent I will buy for the rest of my life. It smells like me. Like it smells, I don't know how to describe it but it I feel like this is me in a perfume and I just adore this. I bought this after my birthday because I had had this on my list for a very long time. I had a little sample that I got from, I don't know, from somewhere and I just kept smelling it over and over for like six months or something like that. And I was like, I know once I have like, this is like $65, which is a lot for me to just shell out for one thing. But I said, I know that I want to buy this once I get some money. And I finally did. And I'm so glad that I got this because this is just amazing. Oh, it's so good. You guys have to give this a smell the next time you're at a department store that sells it. And I found mine at Macy's. I think they also have it at Dillard's in the South. But I'm not sure where else you can get Vince Camuto things. Next is a combination of things, and it's what I've been setting my makeup with. It's the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set with the um, Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana. After I do all my makeup, I spray my face with this. I don't drench it, but I do like apply a liberal amount of this. And then I use this brush, which is the e.l.f powder brush in their minerals line. I'm not sure if they discontinued this, but that would really suck if they did because this brush is amazing. But I also use this brush with my um, Lancome bronzer. So I use this for my bronzer and then I spray my face after I do all my makeup and then I get it in um, this Wet n Wild bronzer, which is really like a very light setting powder or like a highlight. And then I just dust it all over my face and I think it it's just amazing. I love it. I used to use the e.l.f. HD um, loose powder to set my makeup, but now I'm using that and I just love it. Okay, another brush that I have been loving is the e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush, and I just love this for blush application. I used it today. I basically used everything that I'm showing you today because I... I just think this look that I'm wearing now, the outfit, the look, everything, is me. Like, I, feel, I don't know how to describe it. It's like, I feel like myself, and I just really wanted to show you guys the products that I really think sort of represent me. If That seems really dramatic. I don't know, but 
Anyways, this brush is really good for blush and it is good at getting like the right amount of product and then you can like apply it but you can like blend it at the same time. This is just awesome. It's $3. Pick it up at eyeslipspace.com. Um, some lip products I've been loving. First of which is one that I'm wearing and it's the Rimmel Moisture Renew Lipstick in Summer Angel. I was looking for a dupe for MAC High Tea and this is pretty much dead on. Um, it's not exactly the same. It doesn't have the vanilla scent, but I just love this. I think it's a gorgeous color and I love the packaging, so that's a plus. But yeah, Summer Angel by Rimmel is awesome. Next, my loves, my uh, Maybelline Baby Lips. I have four of the colors and I believe there are two more, Quench and then the purple one, the grape one. I'll just show you guys the ones that I have. This is Peach Kiss and it's like a nude color. I guess I can do some swatches. It's just um, pretty like nude and sort of sheer. Next is Pink Punch, which was my first one, and I just love this one. It's like a bubblegum pink. It is awesome. I usually don't like these blue base pinks, but this one I just love. This one is Cherry Me, and this one smells like sweet tarts. I really like this one. I had this one in my purse, so it's just like one of those ones that goes on and has a nice um, rosy reddish tone to your lips. And finally, I have Peppermint, which probably is pointless to swatch, but it is just sheer. And this one has SPF 20 in it. The rest of them don't have SPF. I know the other clear one, Quench, does. So I guess it's just the clear ones that have SPF. But yeah, I've been loving these so, so, so much. Next, I have two under eye concealers. One is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. And I have it in neutral medium, which would probably not match me like when I'm paler but right now it really does match and it looks really nice and I got this in my insider's choice box which unfortunately is unavailable but um yeah this is one of the things that came in it and this is just the travel size but I can see this lasting me for a very long time because you don't need very much I just think this is awesome. This is a full coverage concealer. It says it's anti-aging waterproof with hydrocollagen, vitamin C, and K. So I haven't been using it long enough to know if there's like any magical skincare properties in it, but I really do like it for the concealer aspect of it. And on top of it, I've been using the L'Oreal Magic Lumi, which I got on sale at Target for like $5, and then I had a coupon, so it was like two bucks. It was ridiculous. And, um... Yeah, this is great for brightening. I wouldn't say this is good for concealing because it doesn't have that much coverage, but putting this on first and then layering this under, like right in this area, I think is amazing. I just love these together. I have been using my All May Get Up and Grow Mascara a ton. This is probably my Holy Grail Mascara. I just love it. I love the brush. It is... It is like natural fibers. It's not like the plasticky wand. Got some on me, whatever. Um, it's just so nice and I really like it. You can build it up. You can have it more natural. It's just all around amazing and I love it. Um, next, my foundation that I've been using is the Physicians Formula Healthy Wear. I've been using Translucent Medium uh, Holy Grail Foundation. I love it. Go check your Big Lots like right now because they have these in the old coloring. So it's not like translucent, whatever. It's like natural beige, natural this, creamy beige, stuff like that. And they're only $4 and usually they're $14. So I got two more of the natural beige and that's like in between the light, the translucent light and the translucent medium. In between I would put natural beige. So go run out if you like that foundation or if you wanted to try it and also just to mention i use it with my elf kabuki brush with um a hair tie around it just to make it more dense this applies it beautifully um i think i don't have the sigma like round top kabuki or whatever those type of brushes i don't have that but i think this would be really comparable and i just love this and this is six dollars from elf 
Um, moving on to like eye things, I've been using the Essence Stay All Day Cream Eyeshadow in Glammy Goes To dot 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 and it's number two. It's what I'm wearing on my lids right now. It is just this awesome... I, I don't know how to describe this color. It's like golden taupe champagne. I don't really know, but here it is right there. It's just really nice. It's very similar to Benefit's Creases Cream Shadow in Birthday Suit, but they're not exactly identical. I like would suggest if you don't want to spend the $18 that that is to get this because this is $1.99 I think at Ulta and it is awesome. I, I really, really enjoy it. So I highly recommend this and I've been using that a lot. Um, next I have the Delium Tools 776 brush and I originally bought this because I thought it was going to be a dupe for the MAC 17 which I also have in my favorites. I love the MAC 217 for all over color and also like in the crease. I'm blending out but the Delium Tools 776 brush is amazing for when you have color placed in your crease and you want to like blend it out and make it into a shape. It is amazing for that. I love this brush. It's not as soft as the 217, which is why I don't like it for like the lid color. But I really like it. Like today I used um, an eyeshadow that I'm going to show you with um, the e.l.f. eye crease brush and I just placed it in the position and then I used this to blend out and then make it into this like smoked out shape over here. So I've really been enjoying that Delium Tools brush. Um, I've been using the Zero Eyeliner by Urban Decay and my Urban Decay little brush to set it with shadow. I basically use a black or brown shadow or whatever color I want with this brush. It's just the perfect size. I love this eyeliner. It's just my combination that I love. Um, here are two eyeshadow palettes that I showed you guys in my Target haul. These are the Revlon Custom Eyes palettes. This one is in Metallic Chic and this one is in Gold Spun. And I got these on sale at Target for like three or four dollars each and I highly recommend these. I think you would love them. They are really good quality. In Gold Spun I love this um, brown color. I basically love all of them. This black is insane. It's insane. Look at that. That is amazing. So it's just really, really good. This white is really cool because it ha it looks sort of chalky, but it has like a blue iridescence. I don't know if it'll show up, but it's like blue iridescent. It is so cool. I love putting that in my inner corner. Um, but yeah, I really like this one, which is gold spun. And then in metallic chic, I really like this color down here, which is sort of like, I don't, I don't know, what kind of color is that? It's like bronzy with like red. I don't, I don't really know, but it's super pretty. I really like that one. I use this color down here, which is like a charcoal brown, charcoal brown charcoal gray in my crease today and I really enjoyed that. I haven't played too much with the colors just because I don't know. I don't know why I haven't. I just haven't got around to it. But these are really good, really good quality eyeshadows. They don't blend away when you blend them out. So I would recommend these especially on sale at Target. Okay, moving on to like sort of miscellaneous things. First is so cute. This is a little Thai Beanie Baby, what's it called? Beanie Boos, and its name is Magic, and it's a little unicorn. And um, when I was on vacation, my friend's mom uh, saw that I really like this, but I didn't want to buy it. But she bought it for me, and I just love it. I'm going to put it on my purse because it has like a little keychain thing, if I could open it. So I just think this is adorable. I love it. Um, also on my vacation, I got seriously sunburned on my chest and on my shoulders. Thankfully, it's going away quickly, but this was my best friend after that happened. This is the Jason Soothing 98% Aloe Vera Moisturizing Gel. I only have like this much left. I need to go get more today at Wegmans, but this was awesome. 
like it does sort of leave your skin like sticky so I used it mostly at night but it just soothed it really well it didn't irritate it I just I don't know what I would have done without this seriously this was a lifesaver and then two books that I took on my trip. One is The History of Love, which is my all-time favorite book. I finished rereading it at the beach, and seriously, you guys need to read this. It's by Nicole Krauss, and she's amazing. This book is phenomenal. And then I am, like, almost halfway done with um, The Lucky One by Nicholas Sparks, and his books are like my guilty pleasure. I love reading them and this is no exception. I really like it so far and I'm excited to see like the twist in it because I know that there will be one. There always is. So I am excited to keep reading this but this was definitely one of my favorite things this month. Okay. Whew. I think that's it. So let me show you the things that I got at Marshalls. First is this shirt and it's a... As you can see, it's like a aqua tealish shirt, um, blouse, tank top thing with a collar, buttons up. Um, it has these two pockets, and this is what the back looks like. I really like it. It's a little bit um, lower, or I mean longer in the back than it is the front, which is like so popular right now, and I really, really like this. And it's, I don't know what the brand is called. I can't really remember right now. I will annotate it, like, or type it, um, right here. And the things that I wanted to show you guys are, first, this blouse. I have been looking for a sheer white blouse for the longest time, and I'm so glad that I found this one. It's by the brand Dizzy Liss, Lizzy, Dizzy Lissy or something like that. This was $14.99 and it's just this really nice blouse and it has like buttons here and it gets a little tighter. Um, it's pretty like loose but it is fitted. I got it in the size medium. It's a little bit longer in the back than it is in the front but what I love most are these cutouts in the back um, right where like your shoulder blades are. It's just so nice. I can't wait to wear this. It's a little bit too warm right now to wear it. But um, I'm so glad that I have this in my collection. And then, or in my collection, like in my closet. And then this, I'm so excited to share with you guys. So this dress is by Edge, and I got this in medium. And um, I tried this on yesterday, and I really, really liked it. It has, or it's made with this really nice, like thick material, which seems like really good quality. And this was $16.99. It has these awesome cutouts, sorry, the, these are like attached so it would stay up but it has these cutouts on the shoulders which look really awesome. I'm a big sucker for a good black dress so I really like this and it like flares out a little bit but I didn't buy it yesterday because I was like I have like 700 black dresses do I really need this one like blah 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 I talked myself out of it so I didn't get it. Then I was flipping through Lucky Magazine, and it's um, the one with Eva, Eva Longoria on the front. And on page 84, I saw this dress by Z Spoke by Zach Posen, which is $490, and it looks very, very similar. So today, I ran back to the store and got this. This was like the last one that they had. Obviously, it's a little bit different. It doesn't have all of the details, but these cutouts and the shape of it are basically identical. So I am so glad I got this, and I would recommend like picking this up if you really like the style because it is, like I guess it's a knockoff of the Zach Posen one, but it's just a really nice dress and it seems really well made and it comes with this leopard skinny belt. So that's a bonus. But yeah, you guys, that's all I had to show you. I hope you enjoyed this. This was probably a long video, but all of my videos are long because I love to ramble and I like to talk to you guys and tell you all my stories and all this jazz. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And I did a little bit different thing with my lighting. I didn't like pull up my whole blind so all the light was coming through. I just sort of like 
open the blinds a little bit. So tell me if you think this lighting is better than it has been in my past videos. Um, but yeah, any other suggestions, comments, requests, I will be doing a skincare video. I'm not sure if I'll film it like now because I don't like to film stuff and then wait to upload them. I'm not sure, but I have everything down here because Valerie suggested it and I really want to do that because skincare is one of like my favorite things to talk about. So I might film that now or I might do it in a few days. I'm not sure, but that will be up very soon and I hope you guys enjoyed and that you're having a great week and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.